Look, chat. Let's get to the meat and potatoes, man. It's a thing, right? It, 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 I, I ain't gonna ignore it. And it, it, it ties dear to me, ultimately. You know what I'm saying? Soul, souls may have felt that way. I don't know how souls feel, but souls may have felt that way. You know what I'm saying? Our literal episode is, do I hate the pod? How do I feel about the pod? Obviously, comment section during the jump. So so it's, it's a thing, right? So I'm gonna tell you the real, real Real as shit. If you from the Discord, you got a question, you better alert a nigga to tell him get their ass in here. Anything you, I'm an open book right now. We about to talk some real shit right now. Let's answer the question that Soul is essentially put in this time. Do I hate LKIB? What do y'all think? Do, do y'all think that I hate going live and doing LKIP. And and you could predict me saying no all you want, but what's the vibe? Do you do you feel like I don't fuck with the jump? No, cause then you wouldn't do it. You probably get annoyed, but I don't think you hate it. People just get you gas. Yes, you hate the shit out of it. Why you typing like that? Nah, just be more calm. No, you literally elevate it. I don't think so, but it's definitely a back and forth. If you did hate it, you would have left. Look, man, I don't hate that shit. It's obvious y'all know I don't hate the podcast. Why would why as as my chat is why would I why would I do the pod and I don't like it my nigga and I'm not going at souls here that's my dog I'm talking about like niggas in general like that's why he titled it because a lot of people feel that way why would why would I why would I do the pod and I don't like it my nigga why 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 would I not just you know what I'm saying just get, get the fuck up on out of here and enjoy my day just stream more on my shit stream seven and seven to ten ten thirty eleven on my shit why why would I do that like it, it'd be some money lost for sure but I'm I, like I, I can make it back. I promise you that. That That's out the way. I don't hate the shit, but I do hate you niggas. Let's really talk about, let's really talk about it, bro. I say a good half of you, I do hate. And it, and it's something that we, it's it's a two-way street. We're going to have to both work on this. If we want the pod to be great, if we want the pod to be great, we going to need to meet in the middle one day. But I'm going to tell you the truth. It's a mutual hatred. Granted, it's a subsection. I'm not this egotistical, everybody got a gawk sage ass motherfucker, but like a lot of y'all don't. Not not in this chat. That's why the chat saying fuck you say fuck me for. It's obviously on the TSO Sage channel. But for, I'm talking to the keep it up buckers that will discover this video because I'm a title and keep it a buck something. I want you to, let, let's just read some of these clips, let alone pod titles. British actors shouldn't play black Americans. Parasocial relationships are trash. Frank Ocean needs to apologize to his fans. Uh, Mikey Williams is a thug. Why men don't deserve unconditional love. Chloe Bailey is being canceled. Is first take washed. Proof John Morant is a gangster. Every title I just read, as a title or topic, I could not give one, like, like, dead ass one fuck about in hindsight. Not one. I, I could dead ass get all of that time back and I'd say, thanks, nigga. <laughs> like, and the thing is, though, it come off that way. A hundred percent. I read a, I read a comment. I don't know if it was on the pod or Souls channel. I read a comment that said Sage's demeanor, and I'm not saying it's true, but Sage's demeanor is as if he has somewhere better to be. That's not true. I don't feel like it's somewhere better to be. I do be thinking there's some other shit we could talk about because I don't care about niggas. Like that Holly weird shit, that's not a bit. I don't care about half the niggas in Hollywood. I don't. When we talk about celebrities, I don't care. Do not, nigga. I will never give a fuck. Like Chloe Bailey bounced ass on a on a yoga ball. You know, you wanna know my take is on Chloe Bailey bouncing ass on a basketball? God damn, nigga! Like this shit fat as fuck. Like, like that, that's my take. I I don't have I don't have a take on it. I don't have no contrarian take on the shit. I, I ain't got, I don't give a fuck. And it hurts you that I don't give a fuck. And a lot of people will then follow up with, oh, but you're supposed to entertain me. I ain't your monkey, bitch. I ain't gonna dance for you, my nigga. I'm gonna be me. When these niggas told me, do you wanna do the pod? I said, all right, bet. I'm gonna be me on the podcast, nigga. I ain't gonna go out this bitch and ooh, ooh, and ah, ah for you, my nigga. Cause you know what's real fucking funny? You know what's real fucking funny? If I was to be on that bitch, shaking ass, popping titties, telling and such jokes and shit, I'd be your fucking favorite and I'd tell that right now. i like that bitch right now. No offense to no other I know I could. I know I could. If I was just on that bitch just, just being sus 24-7, I know I could. But reality is that ain't me, nigga. I ain't your motherfucking chip. I ain't your bitch. I ain't about, I ain't about to do that shit for you, nigga. So reality is, when it's a subject that I don't give a fuck about, hey, you're looking at a nigga that doesn't give a fuck. Now, is that bad? So be it. 
Maybe I need to tune into my creator, not give a f uh, Maybe I need to tune into my creator. Damn, bro, I'm supposed to be locked in all the fucking time shit. But reality is, hey, hey, bitch, I don't get I don't get That's one thing. Now, and, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna uh, fabricate no shit. I'm gonna go to the last video, and I guarantee we'll find some comment about it. Sage too old to be true. <laughs> I'm 23, bitch. It's a bit unfortunate because I do appreciate Sage for what he brings to the table and how he can be subtle with some of his jokes alike, but then he... But then he can't really ever win when it comes to chat. Either he's super PC or just chatting. However, that doesn't excuse him kind of over talking, bro. Alongside calling him sped in the R word. His points were bland and that point about trolling was not it. That had one of the popular complaints. So I, I knew to check the comment section. One of the three popular complaints pop up. This is subsection number two. It's either A, nigga's gonna accept what I'm gonna do or B, we're gonna understand I'm not doing the same thing. It's been like the same five criticisms about your boy for what? What, two years a year now what was what's what's the sage seven deadly sins right or follow the, or the five principles of hell or some shit doesn't do research talks too much doesn't have interest a uh, late unfunny over talks apparently is not too pc but pc so those are the seven deadly sins right let's talk about all seven deadly bro let's start with the over talking one i'm confused on the over talking Dead ass. Like, like, G shit, my nigga. G shit, like, real, real talk. Like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, give me, give me the fucking camera here. I'm the one over talking, bitch, for fucking a one, like, I think it was two years, but like, for fucking a year and some change, nigga, niggas were saying I weren't talking enough. How am I over talking? What, se what segment do I over talk? Nigga, y'all know I'm cool with my dog, so it is what it is. Omar hosts the pod. How do I over talk? And he introduces every topic, has a take on every topic, pivots out of every topic, reads the super chats, and moves forward. How, how the fuck am I over talking? Hello? This so shit, shit just don't add up now. Maybe it's something in terms of now. I'm, I'm gonna try to, be, I'm trying to look into your eyes. Maybe it's something in, in the terms of, hey, well, when you do talk, you uh ramble on too much. My bad. I ain't gonna lie. My bad. Because ultimately, and Souls will tell you this in terms of offline recording. I take a while to get my thoughts together. I've never scripted content a day in my life. As a result, everything is off the top of the dome. However, when that's live, there's no room for stutters. There's no room for, let me start that over and shit like that. You're live. Once you said it, it's done. Chad, if I just dropped F word on this bitch right now, if I just dropped a hard R on this bitch right now, I can't edit that out. I can't say, oh shit, that just slipped out. What the fuck? At that point, it's out there, canceled, right? Same shit applies when I'm just giving a, a basic ass take of some shit. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I'm trying to tip. I'm trying to tip. I'm trying to, uh, see, I'm doing it right now. I'm trying to make sure that what I say comes out in a way that is easily perceived. So I don't have to ramble on and on and on or explain myself any further than what I've just said. The point of doing this podcast shit, truthfully, when you're on a panel with four niggas, when you're doing this pod shit, bro, I tell you right now, the hardest thing to do is to be condensed with your time, but yet give information. So it's hard, it's, it, I promise you, you don't understand until you update. It's hard as fuck to give information or an opinion in a concise manner so these other three motherfuckers can get theirs off while also making sure that nobody misconstrues, nobody misunderstands what you just said. And if that requires maybe a little bit of stutters, rambling, so be it, go for it. But one thing I'm not is a motherfucker that's gonna leave shit up in the air because one thing I cannot stand is debating with a motherfucker that does not understand what they're talking about. Not in the sense that they're stupid, even though I do hate stupid people, but in the sense that, yo, you just don't understand what I just told you about. There's one motherfucker that follows me on Twitter. He thinks I'm racist against Jokic. Where'd that come from? I'm reading the tweets. I'm like, where... Where did I diss Jokic? And he's like, I mean, your obsession with white players gotta stop. People will tell me not to give those people the, the time of day, but like I'm replying to dude, and now he ain't a troll. I can, I can read that troll shit like that. He dead ass. He, the motherfucker thinks I'm racist. I thought I was the, I thought I was clearly in favor of him more than him being type shit. So it's like, what the fuck? Ultimately, I don't like being misunderstood. To answer the question in terms of why or how I possibly continuously ramble all the time, I don't like being misunderstood. And I don't care how long it may take. I'm illustrating my point clearly, motherfucker. Now, if you think I talk the most on the pod, you a lying bitch. I'ma just tell I'm just tell you that. I'm at peak third. You could maybe argue I talk more than souls, and that's what's up. I probably would argue I talk more than souls. That's what's up. I talk the most.
So that so that that that's one of the seven deadly sins out the way. And then shit like this is gonna tie into another one, bro. Alongside calling him sped and R word. Listen here, motherfucker. Listen, listen. Y'all gotta make up your mind. So chat, I want y'all to spam right now. And in fact, I'm gonna go in Discord. I'm gonna go in Discord right now and I'm gonna tag everybody. And I'm gonna show you the results of said Discord. And Discord would be our most supportive fans, right? Or subscribers. I don't like saying fans. I, I know I just said I really don't like saying fans. Fans is crazy to me. Would y'all rather beat me be PC or unfiltered? Dangerously unfiltered or PC? What do we see here? Unfiltered, unfiltered, dangerously unfiltered, unhinged. Let the chopper sing. Get canceled. Hold on. Oh, haven't seen PC yet unfiltered if you were drunk though unfiltered let your nuts hang on the ground unfiltered hold on hold on hold on hold on we going to keep letting them cook unfiltered dangerously unfiltered like damo he tagged damo unfiltered unfiltered gramps holy shit i ain't know that nigga i i ain't, I ain't no retarded it was crazy we got one pc i'll show it J just just to be clear we got one pc two pcs pardon me even though zan's in the stream probably trolling majority of you guys want me to be unfiltered considering you want because this is not the first time I've slandered, gone on, went too far with a motherfucker that came up on the Q&A. Do y'all want me to be unfiltered to celebrities that will never ever in their life touch the podcast, never ever see the podcast, and never ever respond to me? Or do you not want me to be unfiltered to yo ass? Because because it's like, let's really talk. The only time I've ever seen, oh, hey, Sage, you're gone too far, is when that one time we was making, uh, what was it, hurt jokes or some shit about Damo? We was trolling. 100% trolling. Niggas was pussy as fuck in that comment section. Niggas was pussy as fuck when I was talking to goddamn uh, Jesus Jr. on the pod or some shit. Still still funny as fuck. The, the logic was ridiculous. Um, It was some other motherfucker I was laughing out. And then definitely uh the Adam West thing. At that point, oh, now I'm, now I'm not nice. Now I'm a dick. Now I don't make sense. Now I'm using harsh language. So, so it is, is it, am I supposed to be, am I, am I supposed to be unfiltered about Michael B. Jordan and Chloe Bailey and John Morant about motherfuckers that will never even show me the light of day so I'm just a random E nigga talking shit? Or am I supposed to be unfiltered towards everybody? Cause I can tell you now, the only time it's a problem is when you niggas are on stage. And, and a lot of keep it a buckers ain't in this chat. So I'm really talking to the comments and comment below. What's up with that, bro? At the end of the day, let's move on to the third one, bro. One of the next main things that I see is that I don't have nothing spicy. I don't have nothing interesting. And I'll go to Souls Channel because I know I seen it on Souls Channel somewhere. Niggas essentially think that like I don't have a hot enough take to, to draw their interest and it's about entertainment. We live in an era where essentially motherfuckers is getting packed up, judged, slandered for this, that, and the third over any motherfucking thing they say. I don't really give a fuck about that. But if it were to happen, I want it to be something I actually believe in, my nigga. I don't want motherfuckers to pack me up. If I said, uh, what, what's, what's something that y'all can't clip out of context regard? If I said SpongeBob is the most bitch ass nigga of all time. Now, obviously, and let's say SpongeBob was like a lingo meaning for black people. So essentially, I just said, fuck him, right? I don't want to get packed up for that shit unless I dead ass mean it. I'm not about to say shit just to be controversial for the love of the game. And I don't mean it. It's never gonna happen. Now, if we can talk, now, if we wanna have a discussion about why the fuck that ain't ever gonna happen, we can have that discussion. Cause you could argue, you're supposed to entertain me, bro. You're supposed to tell me what I need to hear, da 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 da, all that bullshit. Reality is, nigga, I'm never once ever gonna say some shit. I don't mean. Now, if I mean some controversial ass shit, so be it, nigga. I mean, everybody thinks racism is bad, and Sage said it was bad, but uh, one motherfucker said it was good, and I remember that. Now, okay, why do you remember that, my nigga? I don't know why niggas want me to fucking lie on camera, but it's not about to happen. Now let's talk about something that uh, Soul said. And this one, I, this one I think is in the clip somewhere. I don't think it's in this timestamp. Let me play. One of the other sins is essentially I'm not in Discord enough. I'm not in spaces enough. So essentially, I am not interacting with the community enough for them to understand me and or just like me. And when that happens, hey, bro, you gonna get the rough end of the stick. I'll say that's true. Not in Discord all the time. Try to, can't do it. Not gonna stay post pod all the time. I, if there's one motherfucker that hates the pod becoming two and a half hours now, it's me. High key. Don't like it. I'm I'm a hundred percent not this person that will hop in spaces. I don't remember the last time I hosted a space that was longer than five minutes. However, nigga, ain't y'all the same motherfuckers that will go on a nigga for not touching grass? Ain't y'all the same motherfuckers that will bring a topic to the pod so we can go on a nigga that clearly ain't touched grass? Ain't y'all the same motherfuckers 
that will go on me for example as uh, somewhat being a loser because all i do is talk about anime and cartoons like that's all i do but anime and cartoons ain't ain't, ain't that what y'all motherfuckers be saying so when i go out hanging out with hanging out with the guys hanging out with some women oh well, fuck it just driving around living life how simultaneously that you niggas feel that i need to hug your dick and talk to you in discord is crazy my nigga that that shit's wild ain't it now, I know the counter argument is, hey, bro, it's your job. You always got to make time. Yeah, I am. I show up to work every day. Might be a little late. Yeah, what it is. <laughs> but, but I show up to work every day, my nigga. Souls and Sage, two o'clock videos, we get, we get those done. TSO Sage, I obviously upload every day. So I show up to work. I want you to tell me. And that's why I said it's not going to pop up in this in this chat. So the chat, y'all, the comments is going to cook y'all chat. I'm telling you now. Comment section is going to call y'all some dick suckers. So be ready. Be ready to go to war or um, lay over and take it. I don't fucking know what you're going to do. But I know for a fact, I just want to know from the keep it buckers. What am I supposed to do? Because if I'm living life and telling you about it, we had hella segments that I could go to where it's just like, hey, bro, niggas need to live in the moment and not put the phone down. Shit, I know for a fact your host of the year said that 92 episodes ago. We was talking about the uh, the baseball bitch. We was on a party as a um, aura of someone who has better things to do. He'll legit say, to be honest, I wasn't even paying attention. I mean, when I'm not paying attention, nigga, my room is hot. It be hot as a bitch in here. I've changed clothes on the pod how hot it was in this motherfucker. It be hot. I ain't never I ain't never got somewhere better to be. If I had somewhere better to be, I'd be there, nigga. I understand that you're not coming for me type shit. But, nah, that, that's not what it is. Man. Shout out to chat for thinking Don, because I'm tired of y'all not thinking the niggas that gift y'all. And it, it, let me be clear, as I'm skimming through these, I'm not oblivious to the positivity. For me, the, 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 the reason why this video exists, the reason why I'm going on this rant, the reason why I have my I carry myself the way I do on the podcast is because it's a clear it's a clear subsection of who they don't fuck with. It, niggas don't like some of the controversial shit that Omar says, but nobody's just like, uh, fuck Omar. Literally nobody's like, uh, fuck Damo. Literally nobody's like, uh, fuck Souls. It's an obvious subsection of who that person is. Now, I'm not saying that there's not, like, th there's an outweighed love for TSO Sage there and his hate, even on the pod, but it's definitely abundant who that he goes towards. My problem with Sage on Let's Keep It A Buck is that he just doesn't feel like himself. You watch him on his stream and that's two different persons. I don't know what you watching because that's not true. Now nah, I let him cook on LKIB. He acts kind of acts like a background character and is always downplaying himself, but he's much more alive in his own videos. Okay. It's interesting. Because two a degree is right and two a degree is wrong. Y'all can act like y'all don't feel this way too. I know you feel this way, nigga. So this is an interesting conversation to have, so let's have it. It's essentially, do I intentionally hold the pod back or do I hold the pod back in general, right? I've always been of this like non-prima donna ass nigga. So I don't want to essentially hop on the stage, try to make the whole motherfucker about me. And then next thing you know, this is just a sage segment. Cause that's not what you tuned in for. You tuned in for let's keep it a buck. So where I say he does have some validity to it, is you can easily interpret me as a background character to a Damo or a Omar or even a B-Souls nowadays. So I can understand that. The issue is if you think that I'm being some shapeshifter. I am the same nigga having different conversations. I am the same nigga. On one end, I'm playing music, getting drunk, having fun. And then the next minute, it's gay son of thought dog. So, and a nigga like me, I'm gonna be like, uh gay son <laughs> but like there's none more like asking me a, a yes or no one or another type question 90 percent of the time i'ma just answer that bitch and we moving on where my co-hosts excel at is they know how to drag some simple ass shit out for 15 minutes don't know how they do it i don't have the stamina to I get self-conscious and be thinking, bro, at this point, bro, I'm getting cringy with it. Like, all right, we understand, my nigga, you taking gay son. You don't need to talk about how a thought would make you feel in your own household, how how you would be a bad dad. Like, I, at this point, you understand why I said gay son, nigga? Like, is you stupid? No? So, all right, bet. So, gay son, next next question. But that's just how I work. And maybe that's lack of creative, being a creator to you. But that's that's the reality. And ultimately, the sage take it. I either got a lot to say or nothing to say at all. It is what it is. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going, bro. At this point, we're going to turn this video into just fucking scrolling through and reading all the hate and seeing if I agree with it or not. I always know sage was the most low-key in the pods, but I didn't know the reason because I don't pay attention to chat. Sucks that that's how the internet becomes sometimes. I won't say because it's not true. And for those that are concerned, it's not is objectively not true. 
I won't say that I'm quiet because Cat's gonna bully me. So that's not the case. I don't like hearing grown men cry. I, 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 if there is a pet peeve of mine in life, awareness in general, being an honorable mention, and then crying. Especially when you're a grown man, I cannot stand it. So if I have something to say that's already been said, which underrated aspect, I always speak last in segments, severely underrated. I'm always like 90% of segments, I'm speaking last. If Damo done said something, Souls done said something, Omar done said the same thing, we all are going to agree. What the fuck is the point of me saying the exact same damn thing? <laughs> I can't even explain. I can't, I, can't, I can't even explain that shit, bro. It's just at that point, I'm like, all right, nigga. All right, like, like we get it. Like, nobody on stage fucks with this joke, bro. But then I got a chat that's like, nah, bro, you need to speak. And then I speak and say the same thing. Oh, uh, I don't remember that shit. Damn. Uh, the, the, the bitch that, uh, hey, chat, the bitch that uh packed up Emmett Till died. Woohoo! Says Damo. Yeah, she deserved it, says Omar. Yeah, I'm not black, but, uh, bitch deserved it, says B-Souls. Sage. Yeah, that bitch can go to hell. I don't remember this. I don't remember that shit. That's like... Like, nigga, what was I gonna say? Ultimately, I watched the, I watched Sage before the pod. He introduces y'all content to me, to be honest. I kind of had this thing that Sage low-key could have been the highest potential in the pod. He just nerfs himself sometimes. That's true. That's, that's actually true. Because the audience over on Keep It A Buck is not the same audience on Social Sage. It's not the same audience on, um... TSO Sage. Damo and Omar's content are different from the content that I would make and the different content that Souls would make. I would 100% push my agendas, push my ideas, push my kind of content and peak kind of content on the channel. It wouldn't be a separate channel. It would essentially be my channel with a bunch of other motherfuckers. As a result, what ends up happening, and I do believe happens to be the case for everybody, everybody nerfs themselves. But it's more apparent because I do think when everybody's on 10, I'm the most energetic person. When the most energetic person is sitting on the pod like these, letting everybody else talk, knowing he probably got the most to say, shit is. So this one, I understand. I'm not even going to necessarily disagree with, but it's a sacrifice that everybody makes. It's just unfortunate that I'm definitely the one that um pops out. But let's keep scrolling through. We're going to go through the Souls one, then we're going to go through two random podcasts just to prove a point, and we're going to be gone, bro, because I ain't going to drag this shit any fucking further. Souls and Sage Sage over Keep It A Buck Sage. Sometimes I'm like, I wish Sage wrote, wrote this down before he started talking. <laughs> I don't write down Souls and Sage content, bruh. The reason why I do fucking um, address these things is ultimately I'm responsible for it. I'm responsible for my my status on the podcast. Why would I not be responsible for my status on the podcast? I'm a fourth owner of it. Sage, Sage was tripping, but I'd rather be I'd rather him be animated like that over the two cool personality stuff he usually do. It was a, let's talk about it. I don't know how I forgot about this. Let's talk about the notion that I go on the pod as a quote too cool for school nigga. Y'all gotta tell me, and this is my main problem with keep it a buckers. Which one? Am I too cool or am I too nerdy? Cause damn it, I don't know. Am I am I am I too cool? Am I too laid back? Am I not am I not giving a fuck 2467? Or am I talking too much? Am I talking about childish shit? Am I am I, like which one? How am I continuously too cool but too nerdy? I don't get it. You sound like a bitch that is giving cool but nerd. Like that. Come on, come on, sis. Come on, sis. Which one? Because I want to do better. So which one? So let, let's uh, let's address both, okay? You want me to be animated like that. You want me to be animated like that and too cool. It was at least entertaining. I'm telling you right now, you don't want that. And that's going to sound controversial to some of you. You don't want me yelling into the camera 24-7, 365. Now, I say this. It definitely, if I were to, on a solo channel, oh, it worked. Even on my solo channel chat, I'm going to be blunt. I know how to blow up on my own channel. I just... I want to do content the way I want to do content. But if I were to just go back to basketball, rants about every loser, 100K. I lock right now, I could get 100K right now. And that's, that's, that's reality. That's not fiction. That is truth. I think we all understand that is mutually a truth. I think higher end YouTubers would view my shit and say it is true. If I wanted 100K, five months tops. Rants about every loser, make constant basketball content. 100K. Reality is that's not what I want to do. That's not the direction I have for this channel and that's not what I need to do for this channel. But if you want me to be consistently animated like that on a podcast, 
where three other people have to speak, you're lying. You don't want that. Because then I talk too much is really going to be real. Mercedes has realized that there is never a time he says anything memorable. He such as Bland takes his cringe as fuck, especially when he drools over cartoon chatter. He's legit what Omar... Okay, I have this problem with writing as well. I had to learn this. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to my mom. She put me on because this is wrong. A lot of people view parentheses as a section, as a area to type another sentence. This is a run-on sentence. Just because you put a parenthesis in it does not say like dog sage has to realize that there is never a time and he says anything memorable he just says bland takes his cringe as fuck when he drools over cartoon chatter period he's legit what omar talks about when he said guys need to grow up period his jokes you take out the and you start it with a capital h his jokes just don't hit he has a moment every 10 episodes but the others have them every episode period it's not a bit to want better from Sage when he's constantly, when it's constantly a talking point from us in the chat. Period. Damn. All right. Holy fuck. Okay. Let's talk about what he said. Sage has to realize there's never a time he says anything memorable. I would argue either A, that for everybody, or B, I disagree. All it takes is to just listen to the podcast and you either A, remember something someone said, or B, you would just say, um... Nah, Sage has definitely said something. So I I, I, fu I fundamentally disagree with that. I'm just not your cup of tea. And and I, I take responsibility in the sense of, hey, bro, maybe I should say something either a contrarian or a S tier fucking funny thing. But when I have a chat that spams Holly weird, ooga booga, uh, Jai like shit, all these other motherfucking slogans, let alone takes I've had and hold me accountable to said takes I've had. Let alone um, just just flat out what I would do in certain situations. Chat likes to predict what I'm going to say. Or even just the fact that I'm late is memorable to motherfuckers. To say that I don't have anything memorable, again, I'm just not your cup of tea. Bland takes we talked about earlier in this video. I'm not going to say controversial shit for the sake of controversial shit. You're Unfortunately, he's exactly what I'm talking about. Drools over cartoon chatter. It looks that way when I'm talking about three other motherfuckers, but ultimately, I like to have fun. I don't see being um, a person that watches, um, not cartoons, I don't be in the crib watching Phineas and Ferb and shit nowadays. I, I, I don't see drool over cartoon takes versus I talk about them significantly more than any other person on the pod. I don't get a hard on to talk about Phineas or Aang or no shit like that. I, I don't get a motherfucking erection to talk about them shit. I don't think I even have this um inward excitement because even if I did, I do something on my own channel. I do talk about it the most so I could see where you say I drool about it. He's legit what Omar talks about when he says needs to grow up. That's just not true. Omar, when he talks about guys growing up, is making that shit your personality. Omar would be talking about me if I dressed up in an orange and white striped shirt in some shorts. And I was like, Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. Or if I dressed up as Goku. Or if I Naruto ran to places. Omar is referring to people who make anime cartoons their personality. Who are in the crib watching, um, I don't know, Tough Puppy. You don't know me, my nigga. That, that, that's, that's what I'd be saying. And like if Magic Mike popped up, it would have went the same way. It wasn't just the uh, motherfucking Adam West thing. His jokes just don't hit. He has a moment every 10 episodes, but others have them every episode. I can't. I I guess I guess you're about to see one of my weaknesses right now because I, I don't know what you want me to say about that. It's not a bit. It's not a bit to one better from Sage when he's constantly talking point from us in chat. The problem is with y'all is y'all don't even agree. So some of y'all think I'm too nerdy. Some of you think I'm too cool. Some of you think I don't talk enough. Some of you think I talk too much. Some of you think that uh, I'm not controversial enough. Some of you think I'm way too far anti PC. So y'all don't even agree. Y'all just don't like me, and that's cool. This Sage's last. <laughs> All right, that was good. Is this Sage's last pod is funny as hell. Let's do one more. I don't want to drag this any further. It's already been an hour. I was expecting it to be an hour. What the fuck? Hold on, my man's safe. Hold on. We good. Last two pods, we good. Am I doing better? Majority of it is during the actual stream. So if you, um, you know what I'm saying? Think I'm lying? Think I'm dragging it? Watch the podcast, comment below, and you'll see that shit. <laughs> Ultimately, keep it a buggers. We got an issue, comment below. Uh, this is going to be the first comment section I'm going to try to not reply to all, because I, I don't care about all of you. But I'm going to reply to some of the more notable ones or whatever the fuck. We got to have a talk, bro, because ultimately, I'm a co-owner. Ultimately, I want what's best for business, and best for business is ultimately not having one motherfucker that everybody hates. Now, I can be the scapegoat. That's fine. That's cool. Whatever. But I want to be make sure that the, the pod is still projected 
to rise, not stagnate or decline. Y'all let me know what you think about keep it a buck, Sage. Y'all take care and stay blessed. But ultimately, bro, y'all just don't know a nigga. And that's all. That, that's, that's the truth. Y'all just don't know a nigga, man. Tough.